Welcome to episode 33 of Dad's Rank Things. I'm Jones. I'm Tyler. And today it's getting colder and it's officially fall, so we decided to have an episode purely dedicated to fall. And there is no other trendy season than fall. Boy, it is a Tommy trend. <laughs> there's a lot of things that a lot of people do all at the same time. So that's what we're talking about, the top three fall trends we all hate. And by all, we're not talking about just Tyler and I, but you guys at home too. Uh, so I'll kick up my number three is saying things like it's getting darker outside or it's a bit nippy. <laughs> out this morning it's those things that we all say whenever we're talking to everybody else about the change of the seasons you know it's getting darker sooner mm -hmm. I find myself, I say that more often now that I'm becoming older. I don't know if it's just a thing to fit in or if that's just in human nature to kind of talk about the weather. I'm kind of like the dumb guy that always responds, Oh yeah, it is true. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else to say. There's nothing, <laughs> there is nothing to contribute to the conversation well, besides, yeah, I mean, you're right. Sometimes I'm actually surprised. I'm like, oh God, you're right. Yeah, yeah. forget about these things. Good thing you're here to remind me of this great, great trend. Um, my number three is, is fall decor. And I don't want to like single out the white pumpkins and the off-color pumpkins, but I'm kind of singling those out a little bit. Everybody, what about the grassy stalks and things like that? Yeah, grassy yeah. stalks, I'll throw those in there too. Scarecrows. Uh, mums. Mums? You don't like mums? Yeah, they're right, okay. Mums. They're okay. They just blow over all the time because it's windier because it gets dark out earlier. True. Um, we don't go far-fetched in our fall decorations. We put up a couple of things that are brownish or brown or uh, yeah. orange brownish. But as far as like going all out, like some people just redecorate well, the house I, every yeah, four seasons. Fall, autumn threw up in my living room. <laughs> I was gone for like one weekend with work, and I come home to we got a couple things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, like. 50 things so uh my number two things of uh these fall trends that we just don't like uh are pumpkin scented candles okay uh fall uh candle smell so the scents i never really the noticed that behind as a it. trend there's, there's a lot of them that uh that exist it, what i what i don't like about it is that there's no such thing a have you ever smell? smelled a pumpkin <laughs> Put True. your head in the pumpkin and tell me, I want my house to smell like that. You'll never say that. It's just okay. mush. Just orange mush. And then, like, fall, to me, is like leaves burning yeah. uh, and fire uh, and, pollen. And, and pollen and dryness. <laughs> and uh, that doesn't smell good. So, like, the fact that fall candles are a trend makes zero sense to me. That's true. And I, I, before you said that, I didn't even realize that a, a candle thing is a fall thing. Yeah. Because you got the time. cinnamon and you got the oh, nutmeg yeah. oh, and you yeah, got all, all these different fall smells. Yeah. That's true. It's very trendy. The, the, trendy, the smell of in my house that is fall is dirt because of course <laughs> it's going to be raining and you got leaves everywhere and so it's leaves dirt. and dirt and sticks. Yeah, yeah so, that's a good fall smell. Mm, dirt. Uh, my number two is sleeveless jackets, aka vests. And Ooh, yes, both yes. men and women are victims of this trend because they have the fleece or they have the puffy vests or all those things, the sleeveless jackets. Why? I mean, this serves no purpose whatsoever. You're saying your extremities don't get as cold as the rest of your body physiologically that's that's opposite of what happens because your hands and your feet get colder rather than the center of your body so what what purpose does a vest serve those are really trendy no this time of year yeah. everybody's got their white long sleeve shirt that they save just for that vest <laughs> yes and the fleece thing is they call it the han solo of course you got the the oh, long sleeves yeah. with the vest underneath it the han solo make the dress up so again I, something I'm kind that of, annoys me i'm kind of okay with the trend of like a hoodie and shorts because uh, yeah. you don't get to do that very often right. or a long sleeve I and didn't... shorts that combo looks kind of cool right but you don't get to do it Puffy vests, though the old tech, the old tech vest Tuesday. <laughs> That's you guys. And all those golfers out there were the same thing too. Oh, now yeah. maybe for the swing, maybe it's extra, function rather extra than fashion. Extra layer of protection, but, I suppose. And my number one might be your number one, but it's the pumpkin flavored everything. So every year we come out with something new, and yes, this year there actually is a pumpkin spice flavored spam. Oh, good sure for you, that's Spam. The last factor in the coming apocalypse. It is 2020, but pumpkin spice flavored Spam. Oh. There finally is that stuff. God. And the crazy thing is, if people would stop buying this shit, producers wouldn't make the shit. Yeah. So just stop buying it. But they they fly off the shelves. I what would understand. you put on a pumpkin spice uh, spam, spam sandwich? Um, mayonnaise? <laughs> puke, puke? Vomit? I don't I'd know. put mayonnaise on it. I wouldn't put anything on it. I wouldn't eat it. Do you like pumpkin flavored stuff? 
Uh, no, not necessarily. In, in general? Not really, no. Besides pumpkin beer? That's about the only pumpkin thing I'll that i tell you I, what I, I had, Jones, speaking of that, and my number one is in that uh, realm. I had, um, I had, what was it? It was a pumpkin flavor black licorice. No. Oh, the worst <laughs> of both worlds. That's just horrible. Black licorice is by far the worst candy there has ever been invented. And pumpkin spice everything is the worst fall trend. And they so, combined. And that's horrible. And they were salted. Mm. I felt like I was eating something that I I don't know I could like that I was doing drugs or something <laughs> like it was bad for me. <laughs> it's bad, um, very bad for you. I'll just I'll just really make mine simple. It's three words: pumpkin spice latte. Okay, so you're I, it I've, down. I've never had one. I never will because I hate the phrase. <laughs> and so I I did some research on it. Starbucks came up with this uh, phrase in mm -hmm. 2003. Mm -hmm. That's when the this was introduced to us. And there's like a freaking history to it. Like 2015, pumpkin puree has been added to pumpkin spice latte. I don't even know what it is, but I hear people say it. And I'm like, uh, not talking to them. I don't understand the craze behind the pumpkin spice latte. I mean, I understand having a shamrock shake whenever it's St. Patrick's Day. Okay, okay. But the pumpkin spice latte, I'm okay latte, with uh, pumpkin pie, but all these pumpkin flavors are based off of pumpkin pie. Not pumpkin. Right. <laughs> or pumpkin spice, whatever pumpkin yeah. spice is. Yeah, it's pumpkin pie I, flavor. I will say, pumpkin spice latte is probably the most trendy thing there is in fall. Yep. That's why we it's hate it. It's the worst thing. 